to understand a navigation and chart work it is essential to study the shape of earth well earth is not a true sphere it is an oblate spheroid and this spheroid is obtained by rotating the ellipse about its smaller axis or minor axis so ellipse is a flattened circle it has a two diameter or two axis one is the major axis this one and one is the minor axis which is this one so if it is rotated about the minor axis we get the shape of oblate spheroid so in case of earth will have two diameter one is equatorial diameter and one is polar diameter so this one is the equatorial diameter and this one is the polar diameter well the value of equatorial diameter is 6378.16 kilometer and the diameter of or the polar diameter is 6356.77 kilometer so naturally a is greater than b so we have a factor or the parameter called flattening ellipticity or oblateness which is given by this formula that f is equal to a minus b divided by a in order to understand the shape so in case of earth the value of this ellipticity is 0 0.00353 well in case of a sphere because a will be equal to b so a is equal to b so this value will be zero so in case of a sphere f is equal to zero so earth is an oblate spheroid it is flattened or squashed at the poles but for a small distance it can be considered as a true sphere because the errors are pretty small and cannot be noticed so much however for larger distance the errors are noticeable and we need to consider the actual shape only so we need to consider actual shape not the true sphere but for small distances it can be considered as a sphere the axis of the earth is the diameter about which the earth rotates so here if the earth rotates like this so this is the axis and this is the diameter this is the diameter about which the earth rotates and it is inclined at 23 degree 26.6 minute to the vertical so it is making some angle with the vertical if this is the vertical now let us define poles the poles or rather geographical poles of the earth are two points on two points where the axis this axis meets the earth surface so here we have north pole and here we have south pole so basically these are the points where the axis meets the earth surface and these are north and south poles now let us define great circle great circle and this is quite essential to understand the definition of great circle so that we can define other uh, parameters as well so great circle is a circle on the surface of a sphere the plane of which passes through the center of the sphere so suppose this is the sphere and this, this is the center of the sphere so any circle which is passing through this center of the sphere or which is having the same center say for example there is a circle like this it will have the same center so this is a great circle and it divides the sphere into two equal parts similarly let's define what is a small circle so a small circle is the circle the plane of which does not pass through the center of a sphere and it is going to divide the sphere into two unequal parts well now we can define equator equator is a great circle is a great circle on the surface of the earth and plane of which is perpendicular to the plane of axis and divides the earth into two sphere northern hemisphere 
and southern hemisphere and all the latitudes are measured 0 to 90 degree north or 0 to 90 degree south from equator well now let's define parallels of latitude these are small circles and the definition of a small circle is that the center does not pass through the center of the sphere and these are parallel to the equator and run east or west so this is east and west so these circles run east or west now let me define meridians well the meridians are semi great circle and they join two poles so here suppose this is a north pole and this one is a south pole so these are semi great circle so this one is one semi great circle and the other half of the circle is this one that will form another meridian so well the prime meridian if i will say the prime meridian it passes through the place in uk which is called greenwich and all other meridians are named east east or west from prime meridian